This is Overtime inside the Casino Rama Grill Room. Wheeler here, Wendell Clark, hanging out just a little bit longer. And Wendell, as one of the few people who've actually been the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, I mean, you're in a select company there. Matt Sundin, Doug Gilmore, Davey Keon, George Armstrong, the list goes on. But is Dion Phaneuf the next guy, the right fit to be the next captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs in your eyes? Well, it's a wait and see right now. I know that uh, the rumors are leaning towards it. Did he come in? Uh, he's had a great start to his career. He's a very vocal person. He demands, not demands, just his personality. He has a great aura about himself. I know from uh, the little bit in the dressing room and on the ice, you watch how he carries himself. There's a great respect level there throughout uh, the team in Toronto so far. So uh, we'll see what happens. He's only been with the team, you know, a, a couple months, really. Does that matter when, you're, when you're, uh, the team is selecting who's going to be their captain? Well, it's up to the guys in the room know and the coaching staff that are around the room are going to know. Us guys on the outside aren't going to know as much as they do on the inside. We can have opinions, but we really don't know what goes on in the closed doors. So those guys, in the, they, they know more than we do. Did your gamer mentality approach to your team change when you were appointed captain? No, your game can't change at all. Everything has to stay the same whether you're wearing a letter on your jersey or not. That's part of your personality. You are who you are. So a lot of times you may have a C on a guy's sweater. It doesn't mean he's the captain, uh, the dressing room knows who he's a captain. Sometimes people put a lot of C's on the jerseys and it's a marketing tool more <laughs> than the leader of the dressing room or leader of the team and, and guys grow into that. But uh, the personality has to be normal. It has to be genuine and, and that'll come out in time. Yeah, because I wonder about that and Roberto Luongo is even questioning now whether or not he should be captain and obviously that was a big deal because he's a goaltender who was named captain of his team. Yeah, it's it's hard to say. It's uh, They went off the norm did they do that for marketing or was he the real captain did they want to throw something out there you don't know in today's game how it's all sold but uh, in the dressing room the players really know uh, whether the C's sure. on the jersey not on the jersey the the team's not going to play any different whether we have a C out there and no C on the jersey it's the, the the dressing room is is run and everybody knows uh, the hierarchy of the dressing room I'm totally with you on that one part of leadership is leading by your actions you know letting your your actions speak louder than words and you're getting active Div, May 30th, you're walking to, to fight arthritis, Wendell. It's going on across the country. How long are you walking this day? Uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> one to five kilometers. I'll pick it halfway through. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, it's all to get awareness out there. It pledges to help raise money and, and hopefully to find a cure down the road and, or, or make it easier. The more money you, you raise, the easier is to find more medicines to help uh, stop the disease because it's something that affects four million people and three out of five are below the age of 65 so absolutely go to walk to fight arthritis.ca for sponsorship information and to get involved yourself we'll see you tomorrow night